<laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Prison Architect. My name is We're back. Yes, in our prison where things are looking okay, I want to say. I don't want to say great because look at this. Look, 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 look at this disaster of electricity. We need more power. Yeah, yeah, we actually do. Before I build anything else, I actually have to throw some money into another power station, which I will probably put conveniently located <laughs> right in that yard. Nah, no, let's not do that. Um, I figure, where should I put it? I guess in here is one way to deal with it, but nah. Um, we're going to put the station on this side of the prison. Why, why not? Or on this side. It doesn't really matter, but we're going to have to uh, split up um, the, uh, what will you call it? We're gonna have to split up the electrical conduits, so we're not, so we're having it kind of like, you know, split, as I mentioned, as I said. Um, so the load is balanced, that's what I wanted to say. So we have the cable basically connecting the two parts of the prison over here. It's the only part. So if we go over here, hook it up like that, I think that should do it. Uh, we would be good once we then, of course, decide to unhook this. Um, I might have to risk it, but it's probably not the worst idea in the world. Oh boy, how do I get to... There it is. This mental utility. Ugh. Um, wait a second, is that going up or is it just going to the left? Because then I could dismantle it over on this side. Let's see. Yes, we can dismantle it. Perfect. Dismantle this piece of utility. I know, the, the game is going to be like, oh no! You ended us. Uh, the prison will be without electricity for a surprisingly amount of time, I want to say. Uh, I hope that this is going to be enough because the workshop is on the left side and there's not a whole bunch on this. Um, oh yeah, right. This cable is also connected over here, so it's not going to break off just now. So I guess we shall disconnect it on this area. Dismantle the utilities like here. That 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 shall do it. It's enough of a break in between. How are you guys doing? Anyways, uh you guys been oh no oh, geez I forgot the door. You guys been nice enough to tell me all those things in the comments about how the game has to be played and what I'm doing wrong. For example, uh it turns out that you know the reform for education edu uh, uh education initiative. You can't really finish that. It seems to be somewhat buggy. Same with, uh, what is this program called? The general education qualification? Yeah, there, no one, no, no one is qualified to take it and no one is interested in taking it. Um, of course, the school is voluntary. You can hire externally. Yeah, it, it, it's not happening. So, uh, it, it, it turns out, apparently, you cannot, you cannot finish this. So, uh, 10 finished, 0 passed. Nobody can pass this, and therefore you can never get this grant. So, what I'll do, I'm going to stop both of these programs, and under grants, we will be disabling this one. Um, there's a fine repayment, 15000 Not happy. Not happy to have to pay that back soon. Oops. Excuse me. Yeah, minus 14000 That's not looking good. The prison manufacturing facility will get there eventually. Um... But, yeah, in the meantime, it probably would make sense to <laughs> increase my bank loan a little bit so we're not broke. We're going to have to pay back money soon, won't we? So, yeah, this is, uh, oh god, yeah, this prison is dark now because we do not have enough transformers hooked up to that. If I switch this on, yeah, it's, it's going to be immediately shut off. And my prisoners are, I, I guarantee they're going to take advantage of the fact. Why is there... Things so dirty here, by the way. Why is everyone peeing on the floor? That's really gross. Anyways. Um, it probably would be a good idea to add a few more capacitors to this. And that should cover it, I feel. Let, let's hope for the best. Man, it is so gross. There's pee everywhere on the phone uh, floor. Oh, someone got tased. Come on, workers. We kind of are in a hurry here. I would like to switch this on again. Aha! And I think it stays on. Good! Good. How many people are dead? Probably way too many. Okay, so the danger level is increasing. Yeah, not surprised. Not surprised. How many uh, high-risk prisoners? 89 high-risk prisoner. We are actually mostly running a high-risk prison at this point. So I don't even know if this makes a goddamn difference. 
because they're all kind of the same at this point. Maximum, you could set this to medium security, but nah. We're not going to generate a shared uh, room here. Why is actually nobody deployed under this area? I would like to have some guards roaming around here. At any given time, we're going to need some guards in the uh, maximum security prison area. Oh, look at him. He's so angry. He is so angry. He wants food. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, I can see that that would make him angry. Oh, boy. Oh, Jesus, we have a fight. Oh, there's a riot. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, hey. Stop that. <laughs> okay, it's time for... Oh, boy. It's time for a shakedown. Yeah, let's... let's uh, nope, sorry, not shakedown. Uh, bang up. All right, everyone go to their cells. We're having an emergency. And I think we're going to need riot guards. Oh, boy. One death. Hiring riot police just to be on the safe side. Some paramedics because we're definitely going to need them. And let's see if we can keep this under control. All right. Riot police go in. They overtook the canteen. We have no access to the canteen anymore. All right. Everyone rush in in the hopes that it will do something. Okay. Oh, we got it. We got it back except this area. Okay. We got it back. We had five deaths. See if the paramedics can pull off something. Uh, it looks like the paramedics are doing their job. They're doing their best at least. Alright, go over here, take care of those wounded prisoners before they die. And yep, we can turn off bang up. That that went really well. Oh boy. Oh boy, this prisoner's so angry because he hasn't gotten any food. Oh boy. This this won't end well. There's too many people going into this canteen rather than the small one, uh, the bigger one, over on this side, which is, a, I guess, a problem. So, how do we deal with this? I want to say by increasing, by adding, come on, don't be like this. Okay, we're going we're gonna to add this hallway in the hope that it'll help. And yeah, we're going to send our paramedics home. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the help. Uh, the danger level is high. Yeah, I'm not surprised by this. If I look under valuation, we had two deaths in the last 24 hours. Therefore, yeah, the money went down a little bit. That's 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 all right. Our valuation isn't as high as it was. Oh, what are you complaining about now? Uh, food still. Boy, can we not just help him with that? It seems that we're not cooking enough. And I'm willing to hire a few more cooks to hopefully bring this up. Why is this cooker not... Oh, has to be repaired, I assume. Why is this cooker on the left side not hooked up? Unacceptable. Okay, my solitary cells are all full. Excellent. I mean, not excellent, but that's just how it is right now. 19 awaiting solitary treatment. Oh boy. One requires medical attention and we have one dead body. Are you, are you taking care of that, doctors? Would you mind to get the dead body or so? Oh well, may, maybe not. Oh. Somebody is uh, getting into trouble into the common room. Yep, fine. Good job, guys. Good job. You you handled it like pros. I'm still very concerned about my <coughs> high security prisoner over there. All right, demands one food, supply zero. Okay, definitely outweighing the demand as of right now. So the kitchens are not uh, cooking fast enough. My hope is that adding a few cooks to the mix will help us out. Let's hope for the best. You know what we should do? We should we should invest in a new cell block. Cell block D. I think it's time to expand our prison, if nothing, just 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 for reasons. Okay, so here's what we'll do. This should probably be another kitchen. Um a big kitchen for that matter. Um it will be tight on on, on canteens. Who's complaining? Oh, yep, yeah, someone got tased again. Uh, I was also told under logistics that if you have a lot of uh, prisoners idling around, you can actually take that off because they cost a little bit of money, a little bit of wage. Not a whole lot, but it it, it might be worth um, considering that. Okay, why did you open... Okay, he's. I guess he's working in the kitchen. That's quite all right. You are a brave motherfucker just being right next to Warren here. Oh, God. He will never leave. He will never leave. But we don't have time to worry about this. Yeah. And, oh, actually, he got some food. He must have gotten some... F nope, never mind. He's still starving. 
This, oh god, this is a security nightmare. If at, oh god. All right then. All right then. Time for time for another canteen because we have to. We we just, oh god. This makes me so nervous. No wonder we had a fight breakout. There's no room for anyone in there. Yeah, I think we can all safely agree that this is certainly not a well-planned out prison, and I'm the first one to admit that. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll make do. Whatever we can. Okay, how is the capacity going here? Uh, borderline. Let's, let's call it borderline. We're gonna add a few capacitors to give us some wiggle room. And I think it's time to increase the intake. I mean, it says 200 cells. Let's, uh, let's bring up the 200 cells. Up to 200. Total prisoners of... Bup, 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 bup. I'll, I'll also take um, low-risk ones. You know, why not? Just see what's available here. And we're taking in 59 prisoners in... Oh boy, in 7 hours. That, that'll be tight. But we got our uh, holding cells. We can hold them there temporarily, if anything. Our canteen over there is built. And I'm certain we're going to need a few more guards. So I'm going to bring that up to 60. Well, that sounds good in a total. And we should take another loan. Oh boy, we're gonna have to start paying back some of our loans because we are <coughs> spending a lot of our money. Okay. What are we gonna do? We're gonna build a dormitory. You are not gonna build individual cells. I don't have time for this. Who has time for individual cells? Don't be silly. Don't be silly. Okay, we can make a little bit of money by selling some of our uh, wood. It's like 150 per stack of lumber. Um, so we shall do that. Uh, and, ooh, wow, 1,800 for each piece of, uh, it looks like, generated wood. I did not know that. Why was this stuff not sold before? I must have not looked properly into the individual things here. Wow, that's a lot of money. We just made from selling some of our prepared logs. Excellent. Give me give me this thing, sell object. Wonderful. Hope they create more of that. Okay. Oh yeah, there's also still the mail room at the shop we would want to build at one point. But for now we have to deal with those um, this this influx of prisoners. Ooh, short term investment sounds good. I'll gladly do that. How long does that last? Wait for funds. 71 hours. Okay. We just put $5,000 $5, into that, and hopefully, uh, yeah, we're not going to need that money for too much longer. Uh, for now, at least. God, talking is hard when you have barely slept. Okay, so this cell I would like to connect to our other power grid. So this is where I'm going to make the stop. And we're going to run it down this hallway. Perfect. Oh boy, I'm, I'm hearing... Oh, yeah, I'm hearing the tasers. Yep, they got him. Our, uh, good, good job. Our gang leader was a little bit upset, probably because he didn't get food. You know, the usual. Okay, our prisoners are gonna come in in, <clears throat> what is that, two hours? Two in-game hours? And, uh, I'm really quickly trying to build up this dormitory to, you know, allow them to stay in here. Um, currently it's not enclosed. Why, why is it not enclosed? Oh, probably because we need to extend that room a little bit. And we're building a little bit of an area over here with, as you can see, two shower heads and a toilet. So we're going to need ugh, hot water pipes running down. Oh, actually, we're going to need large pipes running down, running over here. And I genuinely hope that this is not too far away from anything. We're going to need a small water pipe. And I don't care that the toilet has hot water now. Oh, actually, we just ran the water pipe. The hot water pipe. That's, that's a whole different animal. Uh, I'm certain we can handle this. This is coming along nicely. We still need that toilet, otherwise we don't have this room ready. And let's see, I don't know what, how much, uh, how many more connections I have available to me. I think this is the one that has some room, because we installed a few cameras. Nah, that's, that's too much, that wouldn't work. Alright, here, uh, our prisoner bus is coming in. Oh boy, that's gonna be a lot. And they're all gonna be standing around here, doing nothing. We're gonna have to hire a few more guards. Now that we have a positive daily cash flow again, I guess I can hire... A few to help out here. And we should decrease our bank loan. I know it brings us a little bit lower in terms of money, but at least our balance is uh, not going to decrease as fast. 5,000 daily cash flow sounds good to me. 
Setting this up actually removed the uh, toilet wall and the staff canteen wall. Let's uh, put that back in the meantime. That'd probably be a good idea. Yay, grand completion. 200 prisoners, uh, or at least 200 prisoners can be in here and be taken care of. I mean, I guess I could bring this up further, but I think we should see how this prison uh, fares with this amount of, <clears throat> let's say, inmates. I guess that's 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 a fair assumption to call that. Surprisingly, the danger levels are really low. Look at that. Okay, 96 prisoners have serious complaints that we should address. Food. Oh, boy. Yeah, that food thing. That's still an issue. Now, with uh, all of these extra people, uh, I can only hope that we have enough cooks. Oh, boy. Oh, there's a fight happening. Why is this? Let's let's keep this locked open so they can walk in and hopefully work around. 46% food. Yeah, our guys are a little bit too slow. I'm going to hire a few more cooks. Because, you know, what is the old saying? Too many cooks is a great idea. And it most certainly won't ruin anything. It's a myth. All right, we're going to have to install another console for CCTVs. So we can hook up the other cameras. And I have another camera in storage, which I will be putting here. And since I have another metal detector, I think it would be a great idea to put that in front of the door. All right, looking at the needs, it doesn't look too bad, does it now? But yeah, it's eating time and that's when, when, oh God, someone's dead. Why, why are you dead? Did you, did you snitch on someone? Uh, yep, I'm, I'm gonna call it a little overcrowded here. L little bit overcrowded. See, there, there's some room in there, guys, and in there, they won't split up properly. That's that's more or less a known issue, having multiple canteens. Um, I don't know why that is. I mean, we have four canteens. In terms of food, we're actually surprisingly close. Okay, there should always be two people in the canteen during uh, canteen eating time. All right, 30 prisoners up for parole. It seems that we're uh, quite a bit behind on parole hearings, so maybe we should consider uh, ramping up the uh, parole rooms just to get possible prisoners out sooner rather than later. We will get a monetary bonus if we uh, if they get out of prison. So I think it'd be a safe bet to say we should um, deal with that. Oh, you know what? What I just realized. Sorry, guys. We're going to have to cancel this. Oh, shit. Someone died. Did you get, did you get, did you get killed because you're snitch? Probably. Mo mo most likely. So, parole rooms. Where are we going to build those? I guess here on the inside is not the worst idea. We're going to let our workers, our little worker bees, deal with this. Oh god, what is, what is, 18 gang members are furious because the leader is being punished. Um, okay, so you are not being punished right now. So where's our other gang leader though? He's certainly somewhere in here. Probably a legendary. Oh boy. How are you doing? Not well. Not well. So, where are you? They're furious. Um, let's turn on free fire for now. Just uh, to make sure that our armed guards suppress them a little bit more. Oh boy. They're furious. And I don't even know where our gang leader is. Calming down a bit. Oh boy, they're angry. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Good times. Oh boy, oh boy, guys. Oh, oh god, no. Bad. Very bad. So, I don't know where the gang boss is. I cannot tell you where he is and where he's being punished. I'm, I'm quite clueless. But we finished up our... Um, area for parole, uh, additional parole rooms, which I will be setting up now. We, we have to bring down the amount of prisoners. Not, I mean, bring it down so we can take fresh ones in, which always gives us a monetary boost. I mean, if we have, you know, people that will pass the test and won't reoffend, good. We don't need them in here. They learned their lesson. Excellent. So we have three more parole rooms once the tables are set down. And we're obviously going to turn those on in our programs once they're being built. They should pop up here. 
All right, we're going to turn off guard taser certification and we're going to actually going to stop a whole bunch. And our guards are, I think, deployed between nine and three to four in those rooms. I feel it should be more. This should be set to one as well. Okay, so that brings up the parole hearings. I could have also increased the size, um, the uh, amount, like three sessions per room. But we're just going to go with two rooms and see how that will hold up. Okay, it seems that there's not enough time for everyone to eat, even though I have plenty of cooks. There's just not enough time for everyone to get in, eat their food, and uh, leave. So it wouldn't be the worst idea to maybe extend the eating time by a little bit. And then just one hour yard time. I don't give a fuck. You get some extra time. Isn't that fantastic? Except Supermax. Supermax, fine. You know you can't can have eating time too for three hours. It's quite all right with me. But it also means that eating time increases from one to two. So I'm going to have to set that one to four. And I hope that does the trick. Oh, God. It is so filthy in here. How about we hire uh, a bunch of extra janitors? Okay, now we have 10 janitors, which hopefully might be enough to keep it clean uh, on top of the uh, help that we might get with the cleaning cupboard. And I think it's a good idea to fire some workers. And I'm gonna say the prison seems rather stable as of right now with its uh, 204 people, or uh, up to 204. Since I can't hold these, why not bring up that intake to 204? Having a quick look at the grants, there is the raise your prisoner capacity to 500. I don't see this happening on this map. Unless, you know, we go a little bit more nuts. But for now, I think the, one of the most important things is to just let things run a little bit and improve here and there the small things and accumulate money in the meantime. And hopefully, we're not going to have too many deaths. We had two deaths in the past, uh, one death in the past 24 hours. Uh, our worth is currently worth 270,000 with that. Uh, the prisoner capacity, yeah, 500 per possible uh, prisoner. Ooh, yes, cash. Um, so, why is bricks and mortar going up and down like this? I wonder what, what, what the means is. Maybe it has to do with cleaning um, or things like that. We'll find out one of these days. Or you guys let me know in the comments. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Prison Architect. If you'd like to see more, let me know in the comments. I'm Weasel. I'm out now to see you around. Bye-bye. Bye.